Now I'm going to do you three videos on EasyBib. It is such a cool way to write research papers and it is so helpful. So we're going to start by going to the site easybib.com and we're going to go ahead and log in. There's a place to register if you're not already registered and you just have to give them an email address. Just go ahead and use your email address at school. So let's start by looking at my projects. You can see that I've got a bunch of projects on account. This is what I do for a living. And I can add a new project right here. So let's pick one of my projects and take a look at the citations for that project. I decided to go to my project on the Salem Witch Trials. And you can see that I already have a few citations from that. Okay, I'm going to run out and get some more. Y'all look what I found. I found the actual court documents from the Salem Witch Trials. Okay, so this website that contains these documents, I'm going to copy that URL and let's go back to EasyBib. Okay, here we are at EasyBib. We're going to paste that URL with the transcripts and we're going to click Cite This and give it a minute to think. Okay, now EasyBib did all the thinking and look what it brought up. It brought up that it found that article. So now all I have to do is go down here and click continue. And when I click continue, it's going to bring up these fields. Now don't freak out. It's only asking me if there's anything else that I want to fill in before I create the citation. I wouldn't have chosen red either, but there you go. All right, so let's go back to the website and see if there's any kind of author or anything like that that we can fill in here. Let's take a look real quick. Okay, so here we see names of the people who contributed this content. So we're going to go ahead and pop those names into our form. I'll be right back. Since I have a couple of names there, I'm going to go ahead and just add them to that last name field. Okay, now I'm going to scroll on down and I'm going to click create the citation. And look, there it is. And see how it added the two names? Okay, so now we have that citation and that has been added to our list. And now we have a nice long list of citations for this project. When I have finished all of my citations for the project, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select all. See how it clicks those boxes? And then I'm going to go over here to export and I'm going to print it as a Word document. And look what it did. It made it into a beautiful work cited document all alphabetized and all properly cited in MLA format. Okay, so now I'm back at EasyBib and I just want to show you a couple three more things before we sign off of this video. There's going to be two more where I'm going to show you how to use EasyBib for a research project for fiction and one for nonfiction. But let's look at, let's think that we want to do something besides just always go to the internet and get our resources. What else can we do? Well, if you click on this little 59 options, this will show you, look at all these different ways that there are to research a topic. There's everything from Twitter to brochures to the Bible and on and on and on. So this is a wonderful place to go and just get some ideas for how you might like to research something. Then over here we have citing books, newspapers, journals, and databases. We're going to be using MLA. AP is, is American Psychological Association. We use that for scientific essays, and we won't need to be doing that for this particular class. And then the Chicago Turabian, we won't be using that either. So this is EasyBib. Go ahead and log in, sign in, get you an account going, and start rocking and rolling. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use EasyBib for a fictional uh, argument essay. Okay, y'all.